troubled department store chains Debenhams and House of Fraser are doomed, says a top TV business pundit. Justin Urquhart Stewart, stockbroker and business guru, said the retail dinosaurs are facing extinction because they have not kept up to date with the latest shopping trends and they have saddled themselves with too much debt. I suspect they are doomed, he told a gathering of about 100 leading business figures in Plymouth. Both chains are quaking amid the onslaught of price and tax hikes and constrained consumer spending. Three reasons why Plymouth's House of Fraser is under threat House of Fraser, Plymouth, Image, Paul Slater, House of Fraser, which has an outlet in Exeter and a flagship store in Plymouth City Center, will announce in early June 2018 which stores it is shutting, and any that will have floors closed. The struggling chain must shut outlets as part of a £70 million takeover by C. Banner, the Chinese retailer behind Hamleys. Meanwhile, Debenhams, which has stores in Plymouth, Exeter, Truro and Torquay, is also understood to be looking to downsize at least 30 stores, by closing floors, blaming, profound change in shopping habits and bad weather for its latest woes. Mr. Eckhart Stewart, speaking at the Family Matters dinner held at Sutton Harbour's The Loft, said neither chain had been as swift as competitors, such as John Lewis and Peter Jones, to face challenges including the advance of online shopping. He said the retailers that will survive are the ones that combine top-notch customer service with the ability to supply goods as efficiently as online rivals such as Amazon. He said, but what for Debenhams? They have debt and can't move fast enough. Them and House of Fraser I suspect are doomed. Fears for Plymouth's pound world as chain aims to shut 100 stores just in Urquhart Stewart Mr. Urquhart Stewart said both chains were hampered by short-term financing, and said, when interest rates go up, that's when the pain will start to hurt. He added, shops have to change and adjust. The good stores realize they are a form of entertainment, engaging the client, so people want to go there. Toys R Us died because people didn't go to them anymore. But Mr. Eckhart Stewart is familiar to viewers of the BBC, Sky News, CNN and other channels as much for his ever-present red braces as his extensive knowledge of financial markets. Debenhams beleaguered Debenhams could shut floors in its Plymouth department store as it looks at solutions to the retail meltdown which has seen its pre-tax profits slump by 84%. The chain is understood to be looking to downsize at least 30 stores blaming profound change in shopping habits and bad weather for its latest woes. It issued a profit warning in January 2018. Mothercare Mothercare gave a warning on profits in January 2018 after UK sales plunged in the run-up to Christmas, with consumer spending falling in both stores and online. The troubled Prowm and Push share company, which has seen sales plummet, is shutting stores around the country but has confirmed it still has plans to open in a 15,000-square-feet unit at the multi-million-pound Plymouth Gateway Retail Park, under construction at Marsh Mills, but will close in Drake Circus Shopping Centre. Moss Brothers In April 2018 Moss Brothers saw share values plunge 23% after announcing profits for the current financial year would be materially lower than expected. The clothing chain, which has a large outlet on New George Street, blamed stock shortages, tepid demand for suit higher and lower consumer confidence. Denelm the home furnishings business, which has a large outlet at Plymouth's Friary Retail Park, saw profit margins take a hit and is braced for sales figures to have been damaged by the beast from the East and Storm Emma weather fronts which battered the UK and the city in March 2018. Carpet Right In March 2018, carpet and furniture giant Carpet Right became the latest high street named to face trading turmoil, issuing its second profit warning of 2018 and entering talks with lenders. The firm, which has two huge Plymouth outlets, has warned it is set to disclose a full-year loss. Card Factory In January 2018, Card Factory issued its second profit warning in four months. The company has three outlets in Plymouth City Center and has seen the majority of its growth come from lower-margin products such as gifts and decorations, with sales of core greetings cards practically flat. It has also been hit by higher wages and more expensive imports. Morgan Boo's thousands jobs were saved in the £7 million sale of Conviviality's retail division to the food wholesaler Best Way after the company which ran Bargain Boo's went into administration in April 2018. Conviviality, which has five Bargain Boo's outlets in Plymouth, went down the plug hole after a string of profit warnings and the discovery of a £30 million tax bill. He sold the Family Matters dinner, organized by accountancy practice PKF Francis Clark and law firm Nash. He cited Chester as an example, which has encouraged pop-up shops. Online has definitely damaged the high street, he said and stressed that to counter that cities need to provide something interesting to do that you can't do anywhere else.
He also said cities such as Plymouth need to have more people living in their heart. City centers need more living areas bringing people back into them, he said. That results in more coffee shops and restaurants. Major Plymouth stores are in financial trouble, and here's why Plymouth City Center's Debenham store he said the future would see smaller shops with people living there, and city centers with a lot more other stuff in them. The cream of the Plymouth area's family businesses enjoyed a mouthwatering meal as they discussed economic matters at the Family Matters Dinner. PKF Francis Clark has been partnering with leading banks and law firms to stage the events during the past three years, aimed at highlighting the importance of family business to the Southwest's economy. Following a successful debut at the Langdon Court Hotel and Restaurant at Down Thomas, near Plymouth, in October 2015, the firm has rolled out similar successful events across the region. Financial gamblers are betting on these five retail and dining chains hitting the skids. They are among the top 10 companies most shorted, that is where speculators take a risk on share prices plunging in order to make a profit. It is seen as an indicator a firm is in trouble, one Debenhams Debenhams is the most heavily shorted retailer, with 14.5% of its shares on loan. The troubled department store chain slashed 320 store management jobs as part of a major cost-cutting drive resulting from flagging sales in early 2018. The retailer, which has a flagship store in Plymouth City Center, saw its share price slump as much as 24% in January 2018 after warning over profits and slashing prices to bolster lackluster festive sales. To the restaurant group, Frankie and Benny's in Chiquito The owner of Plymouth's Frankie and Benny's in Chiquito Restaurants is the latest company to be hit by the so-called casual dining crunch, which is closing eateries across the country. The restaurant group, which also owns Garfunkel's, Brunning & Price, Coast to Coast and Joe's Kitchen, is considering selling off some of its prime sites and exploring options for other restaurants in its estate. The struggling chain has been struggling with poor trading across much of its portfolio of more than 500 restaurants and pubs, which includes the two large diners in Plymouth's Barbican Leisure Park. Three Marks and Spencer Retail Bellwether Marks its food sales also disappointed, down 0.4%, as it admitted the division was suffering, ongoing underperformance. It insisted both divisions saw better trading in the key Christmas weeks. It then announced a five-year transformation plan, under which it said it would shut underperforming shops and downsize other stores. In March 2018 it overhauled the management team in its clothing division as it sought to reposition it to become more relevant. For Pets at Home, the pet store's shares dropped in April 2018 after Citigroup said they were among its least preferred stocks. In November 2017 Pets at Home saw earnings before deductions sink by 4.6% to £62.2 million and profit before tax slide 11.2% to £41.7 million. Pets at Home, which is 12% owned by private equity giant KKR, has been dogged by problems since its £2.5 billion 2014 listing. Concerns have been raised about its debt and the strength of its board, and in 2017 it saw the departure of Chief Executive Ian Kellett and the resignation of KKR board member Nicholas Gaysons. 5WM Morrison The FTSE 100 listed supermarket chain posted an underlying pre-tax profit of £374 million for the year to February 4, 2018, up from £337 million a year earlier. The Radford-based group saw revenue rise 5.8% to £17.3 billion, with group like for like sales excluding fuel and VAT, up 2.8%, a rise from 1.9% a year earlier. It benefited from an improved performance from stores and a push into wholesale in online markets. Yet, despite this success, Morrison's is the seventh most shorted stock in the UK with 11.5% of its shares on loan. The reason for this is that sales growth lagged behind Tesco and Aldi in 2017, and Morrison's still lost market share in 2017.